Hey guys, what's going on today? I got this package yesterday from uh, Supernaut True Crime Collectibles and Memorabilia. And uh, I'm going to open it up this morning. Uh, like I say, it came yesterday, but I was too tired to get into it uh, yesterday. So here we go. Let's go ahead and open it. Um, I got to get a new knife, guys. This, this knife is won't even cut through. And now, uh, here we go. A little pressure on that. Um, yeah, so I placed a pretty sizable order with Supernaut. And, um, and, uh, this is it. This is the whole, uh, I think there is one item that's still due to come in, but I think the majority of the items are in this package here. Pop. All right. Yeah, he usually does this. He does a box and then a, uh, for a little extra protection. Good idea. Never have too much pr protection here when shipping valuable items. Right. <clears throat> okay, so let's um, let's go ahead and tackle the bigger one first. Okay, check this out. Check this out, guys. Got a uh, newspaper. I think this is just a cover. But uh, it's the Dennis Raider, the BTK killer. This is the uh, Wichita Eagle Extra, uh, extra Edition. This is um, June 27, 2005. And it's got uh, the big guilty um, on the front page with Raider with his hands up. Dennis Raider describes one of ten killings he committed as the serial killer BTK in a hearing this morning at Cedric County Courthouse. Raider pleaded guilty to ten counts of murder. Okay, so that's, that's one uh, front cover of the uh, paper there. And here's another one. Uh, BT Killer confesses. Dennis Rader pleads guilty, recounts all 10 murders. And here you are. You got the victims on the left side. It's another um, Wichita Eagle newspaper. This is dated June 28, 2005, Tuesday. Awesome, guys. Awesome. So let's put them. Let's put them back here. What we have here is a uh, Keith Jefferson. He was the smiley face serial killer. Uh, this is actual uh, handprints in red ink. Okay, another rare piece. Um, pretty freaky. He would strangle his victims with his bare hands. So. Think about that. These hands right here, these prints, you know, went to him, which, you know, uh, ended people's lives. It's just, it's just a creepy feeling to be even holding this. That's Keith Jefferson, uh, the smiley face serial killer. All right, now what we have here is... Priority Merrill envelope. These are great. They just pull them right open like that. Easy access. Piece of cardboard. Another piece of cardboard. Throw that out of the way. Get that out of the way here. 
All right, what we have here is a uh, Tommy Lynn sales, uh, sales, sells. Another serial killer. Look them up. I'm not going to get into the bios of these um, murderers, killers. Uh, but if you there's documentaries on all of them. I watched all the documentaries, so you could do the same thing. Just type in Tommy Lynn sells, and it you'll you'll have a true crime documentary. Um, Izzy Sagwa. He's another one. He's a cannibal serial killer. Uh, matter of fact, he is not even in jail anymore. He's free. He's in uh, uh, I want to say Japan somewhere and had his name changed but um he uh exploited some loopholes with the uh, judicial system and got out of uh and got out of it but he's been known to cannibalize kill murder and cannibalize people um here we have um this is a whole pack of the kentucky vampire uh, uh murray kentucky vampire clan they uh murdered a few people and they were they were supposed uh, vampires. They they were a cult. There was four of them that would. Uh, they were young young teenagers and young adults that were um, you know into this vampiric cult type thing. And they were they killed a couple people and um, were drinking blood and stuff like that. There's a photo of one of them. But I got four envelopes from the four. Um, from the four vampires <clears throat> here's another cool one now uh, we got um this one here is a uh, theodore kaczynski ted kaczynski the unabomber this is uh a u.s penitentiary max maximum penitentiary florence colorado this is his theodore this is his writing there's a uh, photo of him and his his mugshot with his um, you know his uh, wanted photo, and then down below here is a Sean Sellers uh, envelope, another ser uh, serial killer. He was a young young man when he did his serial killing and um, killed a convenience store clerk, I think, and his parents. He was, he's been since ex executed. Another rare piece. And then we have um, a letter here from Jack uh, Trawick. Um, he's another one. Like I said, look up the bios, but I got an envelope and a handwritten letter, letter from him. We got Danny Rowling, the Gainesville serial killer, letter with her uh, prison envelope with his name and the um, a letter from him. He's since been executed. Uh, Mark Sappington, another one. With a hand lit written letter from him as well. And a piece of cardboard there. Okay guys, so there's my uh, huge murder memorabilia haul from Supernaut True Crime Collectibles. Um, like I said, I'm going to do some uh, framing on some of these. And uh, yeah, probably maybe I'll do a later video after they're all framed up and you know in place but uh yeah this is uh these are some um you know i would i would say these would go into the oddity co category of the collection not going to find this stuff anywhere these are true one of the kind pieces all right got shit to do i'll see you guys later